Learning a new engine is tough and with so much information out there it's easy to feel a little bit overwhelmed. How do you start learning Godot? Should you buy a course or watch a YouTube tutorial? And if so, which one? I will be answering these questions and more in this video. Hi, I'm Marco, I've been a game developer for the past 4 years and for the last 2 I focused entirely on building this YouTube channel around Godot. So trust me, I've been where you are. So now, let's dive right in. The first thing that I really recommend you do is to take a look at the Godot documentation. Because basically it is super super well written, the explanations that are there are also quite quite good and you can actually get a lot of information out of this documentation. The documentation is that good that it even contains full text tutorials on for example how to create your first 2D game and it is literally explained step step from step. So you will literally have no trouble actually following it along. And actually the same thing happens but in 3D. You do have a complete course, once again completely written, in which you will understand how to create this 3D game that you're seeing behind me. I've personally took the time to go over the information that is inside of them. Not only is it insightful of course, but it is also super well organized and explained, so it is super easy for you to understand and get used to using Godot. Not many, many people actually mention this, but also the Godot documentation not only does it provide full courses on both 2D and 3D, but also a getting started section that basically teaches you all the basics of the Godot engine in various areas. And in these sections you are not going to actually be learning how to build something super interesting and playable such as the games, but they will actually build up the basics with which then you are going to be able to build these 2D and 3D games or even any other game that you may want to create that is simple for a beginner. So if I were you, I would definitely start off in this step by step guide that I'm showing right now. And when you complete it then, you go to the 2D and 3D text tutorials that are in the documentation. And also it has the introduction over here. That well, if you want to save time, you can just go to the step by step sec section that I showed a second ago. But well, if you even want to have it in a, a slower pace, this information, because we will go over all the interface about without super detail, all about super detail, about how it works, the philosophy behind it, and even more things, you can of course read that section as well. But well, if you go to the step by step section, then 2D course, then 3D course, you won't really need this introduction. This doesn't mean that it isn't a resource taking in count. And after this, you can either start taking a look at some YouTube tutorials or some paid courses. I have created both of them here on YouTube. I have some full courses that I created me myself. And I have also created some courses for Semba. So basically, this is a platform that uh, you actually have to pay for in order to access these courses. So I do have experience in both sides of uh, this discussion between paid courses and YouTube courses. And of course, while I was learning, I took some YouTube courses in order to learn. And well, I totally took three uh, paid courses on Game Dev TV when I was uh, starting. By the way, you see here that the progress is zero because Game Dev TV sites uh, was uh, redesigned and well, when they changed the uh, server or something like that, the progress in all of the courses was reset. Now, of course, that's always the two main advantages of YouTube courses are the fact that they are free and that you can find tons of uh, courses. But well then in paid courses you get lots of advantages, for example you get deeper content, you get it in a much more structured way, you get certifications, you also have a slower learning pace so it is a little bit easier to actually understand different contents because sometimes YouTube courses tend to go quite fast and well in paid courses this is quite slow paced. And also in paid courses, you usually get direct help from an instructor if you ever get into problem or if you ever get any kind of question, you can always ask them. And basically that's the reason why when you are starting out, I would always recommend you start taking a look at YouTube courses. 
because for literally zero dollars you can explore tons of different options tons of content creators out there so as i would really encourage you to start on youtube you should really really consider taking these two courses that brackets have created one of them is mostly related to growth and creating a game and the other one is basically related to gdescript syntax to how gdescript work so both of them are quite interesting to build a solid basis of without and the quality of it, the explanation, the editing, the pace, everything is just amazing. This could even be perfectly a paid course that is literally for free on YouTube. So that is quite interesting. Other channel that could be quite interesting is GD Quest. They tend to have more general tutorials and videos that could be interesting, but they also have full course. For example, they have this uh, course in which they create uh, a 2d game and they also have all their courses okay that maybe you think that they out they are outdated and maybe they do are outdated in some stuff but in other they are still useful for you to uh, take a look at for example you also have these other two courses one in 2d and the other one in 3d as well Lastly, I can only recommend, recommend me myself that I create over three full courses completely for free. Two of them can be completely followed just using your mobile phone, so that is quite interesting. Because in these two courses, we are using the Guidote Android version of uh, Guidote. And well, the other one can be completely followed in your PC. So this is also other course that you may be interested in taking. In terms of paid courses, the two main platforms that I found interesting were Semba and Game Dev TV. Okay, so Semba I'm mentioning it not because of the fact that I work there as a course instructor on Guido. So some courses you may find here, I taught them, um, but because I also find that this is a platform that actually is helping lots of people uh, study game development, understand game development, and create their own things. So the good thing is that you can go to, for example, courses, create games, good out, and here you can filter for learning pathways only. So you'll find a collection of tons of courses, okay, that are taught on lots of different things, okay? Um, and also here how Semba works is that basically they have a subscription model. So by paying something like $29 a month, you get access to the platform. So you get access to every single course that is out there. But in other platforms such as Game Dev TV, for that same price, $30, you just get access to two courses, of course, for lifetime. But uh, well, th these are just two different models uh, because, well, maybe Semba is better if you want to take more courses in less amount of time. But well, Game Dev TV is a, a other option worth mentioning if you just want to take one, two, or three courses, okay? But still here, uh, I did take some courses at Game Dev TV, and of course, the, the experience was super satisfactory. And also, you can find here that well, the amount of courses on Goodout that Game Dev TV have is much less than the amount of courses that uh, you have here on Goodout uh, on Semba, okay? And well, after taking so many courses, after watching so many YouTube videos, the, the, the next thing that you should be doing is actually trying to be modifying or adding new features to the games that you had created in these courses or tutorials or whatever you have used, so that you will actually, let's say, take them to the next level and understand even more by reutilizing games you had created. After that, you can go ahead and modify or, or completely replicate games that uh, all that are already existing such as Flappy Bird, Mary of Rose, etc. And you should be doing this using the least, the least information as possible so that you can actually start creating games on your own, relying less and less on external sources of information. The important thing here is that in spite of the path that you actually uh, choose to follow, it, the most important thing is that you always keep the ball rolling so always make sure that you do that i hope that this video has been helpful and if so make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so that youtube will, re will recommend my content to you and you will be able to learn more about without see you in the next one and bye bye